welcome to another episode of Insightful Leaders, an ed- initiative under Thoughts on Education by College Dunya. So today we have with us Mr. Arun S. Bhatnagar, who is the Director General of Indore Institute of Science and Technology. Mr. Arun S. Bhatnagar started his career as Assistant Professor of Economics in 1975. He successfully cleared all India civil services exam in the year 1982 and joined Indian Revenue Service IRS in the year 1983. He has also worked in Cabinet Secretariat of Government of India under deputation. He has finished his Executive General Management program conducted by IIM Bangalore. Then he went to Australia for to study Australian taxation system and has established first model range in income tax department. He also completed his prestigious courses from Duke University and University of Maryland, USA. He has also got most prestigious award for the best practices instituted by the Ministry of Finance, Government of India. Apart from this, he is also a poet and has written many books on poetry. Recently, he has been awarded the Captains of the Industry Award by Honorable Chief Minister of Madhya Pradesh for his dynamic leadership and outstanding contribution in the field of education and environment. Sir, greetings from College Dunya. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. So, sir, your question to you is, like you have served this nation by joining the irs right indian revenue service and now you are into the uh, education industry so please tell us about the experience here and what makes it the best industry to work in if you would like to make education as the best industry you have to go for overall change right from primary level to higher it is not possible to deal one segment without improving the other. The students which we are getting from the higher secondary level, the improvement is needed there also. And according to me, there should be the same syllabus. And even similar kind of atmosphere available to the students who belongs to the rural area. Until unless we will not improve our education system, those areas are underprivileged cannot see a big change because yes, future depends. We are having the young crowd. We have to hold them. We have to educate them with the latest technology. And most of the India, as you are aware, are in the middle cities or, or in uh, small cities or even the rural. Areas. Education should be the top priority of the government. Secondly, we should invite the best faculty. You see the example of USA. So working as a faculty in USA is the most prestigious, which is not the case in India. Until unless you will not invite the best crowd, you have to give them facilities. And thirdly, there should be emphasis on research and development, which is a very neglected area in education. Fourthly, there should be a Coordination between industry, academia, administration, and society. Suppose if there is a some kind of problem facing in the industry, in the local industry, let us say, then they should look up towards the college, towards the institutions. Okay, how to solve this problem? My suggestion is that. And secondly, um, we are criticizing that uh, we are not providing or we are not making our students industry ready. For that, our faculty should go on sabbatical leave to industry and industry people should come to the college to teach. So we should understand what are the needs of the industry and industry people should feel what we should, what we should teach the students. So there should be a perfect coordination between industry and education. Well, then we can improve, we can see significant improve in education industry. So far, it is a neglected that is size, and we have to give good way to the faculty. 
beautifully answered sir so so uh, being the director general of indar institute of science and technology what is your philosophy of leadership it, uh, it reminds me when i joined as a iras professional the same question was asked from my director at that time of national academy at texel and i still i remember she chaku he said i treat them professional like my family the same philosophy i am following i am treating my students like my family so there is a direct communication heart to heart talk and it should be transparent objective and what i am emphasizing what i am telling them that quality should be your success mode good of competence you should observe quality in each and every aspect of life it is not possible that we should improve one sector but we should like that other sector we should give overall we should improve our quality it should be in speaking it should be behavior everywhere that's why i use, sometimes i used to say ki इधर उधर की बातों से तो खामोशी ही बेहतर है इधर उधर की बातों से तो खामोशी ही बेहतर है या कुछ ऐसी बात करो जो खामोशी से बेहतर ऐसा लगे कि पढ़ा लिखा व्यक्ति बन मैच्योर एक यंग एनर्जेटिक व्यक्ति बन so that's great to see your poetic side as well so uh, the next question is you were also the principal commissioner so how did this experience helped you in in the institute of science and technology actually i feel proud my iras services because there there is a you're working day and night with full dedication and what our seniors and our faculty members taught us that we should be above board integrity devotion to the duty obviously workholic nature the same thing i am inculcating uh, in whatever i can have learned from my great service i am utilizing that here also because in our iras this is one of the most prestigious service and the majority of the of our officers are working tirelessly in each so sir uh, any of the significant challenges which you have faced being the director general of iast would you like to highlight some of those yes it is very interesting also that how to motivate first of my faculty and staff to enhance their perception skills and attitude i you i am telling them listen each and every student is a different of its kind they are coming from a different background they are having a different kind of samskaras they are having a different kind of understand so we have to treat each and every student according nowadays it's a time for what i emphasize is recent there should be combination of three things this is very important for you to know that there is a pedagogy how to teach there should be content and there should be technology the three things should be combined pedagogy content and technology so now with the help of artificial intelligence he can cater the need of each visual student as per his strength and weakness that is why we have made syndicate groups in ist and ip and iim there are three institutions the institute of science and technology the institute of science and technology and research why syndicate group because there is a group of 20 students and one mentor is there so he should understand the strength and weakness and the psychology of his group and accordingly he should communicate to them and and reverse also and secondly we are now going for the blended learning concept i am telling them go for the blending today's world our students are very smart they are going for online materials are available to them and absolutely it is fine but we should know how to use our faculty should also understand 
which type of technology they should use. The overall aim is to give the best lecture to, in the class. How to adopt the best practices prevailing in the education arena all over the world. For example, flip classroom technique. That we should send the videos to the students and then they should read it and then come to the class and then there should be a discussion. There can be various methodologies. They say, I have told them recently metacognition. What are the techniques of technology? Thinking about thinking. Cognition about cognition. And likewise, I have told them reverse feedback system. You should take the feedback during the process itself. Because normally we are taking feedback after the lecture. Why not? During the process itself, we should take the feedback. And now with the technology, it is possible to give the best of the education. So there should be a combination between online and offline. Online cannot be substituted offline. That means little more. Because only when he will come to the college, he will meet his colleagues, he will meet his batchmates, he will, there, should be a, there will be a team building exercise. His communication will improve, which he cannot do it while sitting over in his house over computer. His personality will not develop. So that is why what I am, this is one of one of the challenge, and I am very happy that my faculty is adopting the technology. Likewise, change of attitude of the students. The basic aim of education is empowering the education, empowering the students in a wider perspective. They should not have a narrow perspective. There should be a wider perspective. Their attitude and their thinking should change. It should be positive. What I am telling my students is there should there will be hurdles, there will be problems in life. In each and every one of us is problem. Kabhi na kabhi. Sabhi ke zindagi mein samasya. Problem is not. Problem is how to handle the problem. They should learn that. How to overcome their failures and come back again to the path. The derail is not going to be a good thing. We have to motivate them. We have to analyze them. We have to do this. 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 We have Recently, we have made 26 clubs. We are giving emphasis on sports. You can see that the students who have no idea of hobby. They have a sailing, they have a hiking, they have a hiking. They spend their time leisurely. After having a lot of hard labor, they definitely go out, be energized. There should be a combination. Life is enjoyed. There should be happiness. Koshak should go out. Very correctly answered, sir. So, sir, what goals do you have in your mind for your institute over the next few years? Yeah. First of all, to give them the best education possible on the basis of merit. We have introduced a merit-based fees program. Yeah. You will get good marks, your fees will be reduced. So, they should be aware about the their fees. For example, we have made SIG, special interest groups. All our, all our three institutions, there are plus. What is plus? Civil plus. Mechanical plus. What is this plus? Apart from their syllabus, they have to learn something extra. That will make the difference. For example, if they are doing CS and IT, then they should learn artificial intelligence. They should have understanding of machine learning, blockchain, internet of things, that we are taking care extra. Plus, when they go for any kind of interview or, or they will appear in higher exams, their English and attitude should also improve. What I am looking and secondly, what I am seeing in the next five years, that we should give more emphasis on research and development also in the Our faculty should write in research papers, they should go out, we will give them sabbatical leave, they want to enhance their qualifications, they want to attract the best of the faculty in our institute. So, we, what is my planning that our institute should know for academic excellence along with holistic development. Not only academics, but there should be overall improvement in the personality. They should think about society, they should think about the nation, they should think about their own health. 
That is why we have received concept of green weeds. So all our students, when they are joining, they are planting trees. And we have started organic farming. As I told you earlier, my emphasis on quality. So those organic vegetables should go, is going to the camp. Even you will be surprised to know, very nice, that even products, whatever they will use in canteen, it's also prescribed. For example, if you will use milk, it should be from this company. Don't want to name that company. This is the ice cream, if you want to keep it, it is. As very few are ice cream, others are desert for frozen desert. If you know the Supreme Court decision in this matter. I want to, I don't want to name and I don't do marketing any company. But they should be standard. My process is like that. All the three institutions should be known. Academic environment as well as where the students should feel that they should come to the college. They should love to come to the college. What I am telling my faculty that why I should go to PBR to see the movie. I can see on Netflix. So, answer lies there. You are going to the PBR because there are 3D music, sound effects. To feel like to go to the cinema hall, see the movie rather than your house. Likewise, the student should feel attractive, attraction that I should must to go to. That's why on 26, on 15th August and 26th January, it is a, a surprise. Around 900 or 1,000 students are participating. Oh. Why? Because we, we are organizing lots of festivals, lots of competitions. Group dance competition, group song competition, poetry competition. And we are announcing some prizes also. But they have to students not to students come to WhatsApp. So we are missing a lot. So that is very much, very valuable input, feedback. And they are missing the part. If they are missing the part, we are successful. <laughs> definitely, sir. Definitely. So, being an uh, ex student, I can also relate with what you are saying. So, so uh, being the director general of IIST, how do you tend to establish a relation with the students? How do you make yourself available to them? Oh, this is a very, very interesting thing. I am available to my, all my students because I am available in all WhatsApp groups. Even a hostel WhatsApp group I am available. And my, all my students are aware that they can meet the DT at any point of view. There is no barrier. So they are my family members. 24 by 7 I am available to them. Anyone come, can come to my room. Those are in the hostel, they can come to my residence. And they have to just inform that we are coming. So I am available to them. Suppose if even one individual, one student is sending me WhatsApp, I will be I am always connected to you. So that is uh, our best. Okay. Yes, I am also, you know, I have been also, uh, when I visited your college, I know how available you are because I didn't have an appointment free hand and I was able to meet you uh, despite having an appointment. So that was a great leadership uh, example which I can quote. So, so, any of the suggestions you would like to give to the current youth and mainly for the UPSC aspirants out there? Whether they are using UPSC aspirant or my students, message is very common, message is very simple. You are the creator of your thoughts, action, surroundings, as well as your destiny. I am very much influenced by the personality of Tana. And I would like to quote. He said in Pali, Atta hi akno nato, hi nato parishtu. Aap apne swami swayam hai. Dusra aapka swami swayam hai. Aise hoon sa. Aur jo unke shishya te hai, vikshu kella te hai. Unko unhoon hai kaha ki, Atta dipa bhavata, ve avasarana anaj sarana. Vikshuo, apne aap, apne dhupar bano. Apne hi sharan mein jau. Dusre ki sharan mein mat jau. Ye baat hamko samaj nahi hai, wa apne students ko nahi sa. Aap, hangi ke bharo se mat ho. 
कर्म करिए सघन कर्म करिए प्रणाम की बिना चिंता की करिए मिलेंगे जब भवम तद भव जैसा आप सोचेंगे वैसा आप हूं इस सोच को बदलिए एक्शन को बदलिए तो अपनी नई डेस्टिनी बने स्काई इज द लिमिट अक्सर वो चार लाइन है कहीं मैंने पढ़ी थी कहता था जब तक आउटस्टैंडिंग कैसे बनाओगे जब तक आउटस्टैंडिंग काम हो ऑर्डनरी काम करके आउटस्टैंडिंग नहीं इसके लिए आपको अनकंफर्टेबल जोन में जाना हो ऐसे ऐसी जगह जाना होगा जो तो आपको मुश्किल काम है वो करने आसानी से कोई काम नहीं होता कहता है कि ये क्या कि सूरज पर घर बनाना और छाओ तलाश करना क्या कि सूरज पर घर बनाना और छाओ तलाश करना खड़े होना तो दल दलों पर पाओ तलाश कर इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल बिल्कुल सर सर लास्ट क्वेश्चन टू यू 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 हैव हैव बीन अ पोएट वेल एंड वेरियस बुक्स ऑन पोएट्री राइट सो वी वुड आल्सो लाइक टू हियर फ्यू लाइंस ऑफ योर पोएट्री इफ लाइक एक आज एक बहुत बड़ी बहुत ही एब्स्ट्रैक्ट सा टॉपिक है कि एक बहुत बड़ी समस्या हो रही है कि और इसी के कारण बहुत सारे संबंध टूट जाते कोई अपनी आलोचना को सहन नहीं कर तो उसमें एक लिखा था कि हर विरोध को विद्रोह का पर्याय मान लिया हर विरोध को विद्रोह का पर्याय मान लिया जाता है अस्तित्व पर प्रहार मान लिया जाता है हरेक की अपनी खेची लक्ष्मण रेखाएं हरेक की अपनी खेची लक्ष्मण रेखाएं हैं जिसके भीतर सभी हम के घरों में सिमटे बैठे अपने ही विचारों को श्रेष्ठ मान बैठे और हो जाते हैं सारे निर्णय इसी हटवादिता और हो जाते हैं सारे निर्णय इसी हटवादिता जो करते दुष्प्रभावित व्यक्ति व समष्टि के हित व्यक्ति के और समाज के हित जो करते दुष्प्रभावित व्यक्ति व समष्टि के हित को मानवीयता को इतिहास को मानवीयता को राष्ट्रीयता को भविष्य के इतिहास इतना बड़ा व्यक्ति होगा वह हटवादिता करेगा उसका प्रभाव बहुत सारे लोगों को जरूरी है कि हम दूसरे की बात को समझें और एक स्पेस दें लोगों को अपनी बात कहने तब तक क्रिएटिविटी का जन्म नहीं होगा जब तक आप दूसरों को स्पेस नहीं ये बहुत जरूरी है क्योंकि काफी मेरी कविताएं जो है वो मतलब अध्यात्म को एक नए सिरे से परिभाषित करने की आवश्यकता है इसमें हम सबकी जो वैल्यू सिस्टम है कॉमन वैल्यू सिस्टम है उसको लेकर के आगे बढ़ आगे अगर हमें चलना है तो सबको साथ लेकर समन्वय की संस्कृति भारत की सबसे बड़ी संस्कृति वही समन्वय की संस्कृति को लेकर वाइडर परस्पेक्टिव विशाल मन लेकर और विशाल दिमाग लेकर दिमाग वही मेरी पोएट्री का रहता है क्या लिखा था ज्ञान जनित अध्यात्मवाद का संसाधक आई एम फॉलोअर ऑफ द स्पिरिचुअलिटी विच इज बेस्ड ऑन साइंस रचयिता के मूल रूप का आराधक वर्शिपर ऑफ द ओरिजिनल फॉर्म ऑफ गॉड संत कबीर के संदेशों का संवाहक ऑफ द मैसेज ऑफ संत कबीर जीवन के शाश्वत मूल्यों का निर्वाह जनरल वैल्यूज ऑफ सर सो इट वॉज वंडरफुल लिस्निंग टू यू एंड योर पोएट्री एंड योर थॉट एज वेल सर थैंक यू सो मच फॉर गिविंग अस योर वैल्यूबल टाइम थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू थैंक यू